Okay, so you guys seem to like my last butterfly effect video a bunch, so let's give this another shot. I asked you guys to come up with ideas for more videos in this series, and my favorite one came from both Greg Fincher and Songfire. What would happen if Twist didn't get her cutie mark in Call of the Cutie? Now this is the kind of thing I was looking for. This seems fairly pointless. I mean, it's frickin' Twist. How important could it possibly be? Well, more important than you'd think. For starters, let's go to the scene where Applebloom asks Twist to go to the cute Zinyera with her. Now, it'd be reasonable to assume that if Twist didn't have her cutie mark yet, they would have gone together. I mean, Applebloom wanted to go with her, and Twist said that just because she had her cutie mark didn't mean that she couldn't go to the cute Zinyera with Applebloom. Cut ahead to the party where co-winners of Douchebag of the Year, Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon, continue to pick on Apple Bloom and the cutie markless Twist. Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo would show up to verbally kick Diamond Tiara and Silver Spoon's asses, and they relent. Later at the party, now that Apple Bloom, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, and Twist are all friends, they would form the Cutie Mark Crusaders. So there's your first big change to the story. Twist becomes a main character, and the Cutie Mark Crusaders become a quartet instead of a trio. So the next big question would be, when would Twist get her cutie mark? I mean, she was pretty close to getting it early in Call of the Cutie, so you can't really prolong it too long. Well, there are two options here. Either A, she ends up going along with the cutie mark crusaders' tactics and just do a bunch of random stuff, hoping that a cutie mark will show up from that. Hopefully not! Or B, she continues to make her candy canes, which seems much more likely, since I get the feeling that that might be part of a family business or something, which led to an interesting headcanon of mine. Twist. Bonbon. Bon. Related? Anyway, if Twist does continue making candy canes and she gets her cutie mark from it, then it would be a huge revelation for the other CMC members, because now they'd have a member with a cutie mark in their ranks, which might make her the new leader of the group. The other members would consult with Twist to learn how she got her cutie mark, and upon realizing that cutie marks aren't earned through countless one-off attempts like they and I, moronically thought, but instead upon realization of their special talent, then maybe, just maybe, they'd realize the error of their ways and uncover their own special talents, leading to the Cutie Mark Crusaders getting their cutie marks. So there you have it. If Twist would have gotten her cutie mark even a day later, all three of the Crusaders could have gotten their cutie mark by now. Darn the luck. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, if you have a good idea for a butterfly effect video, let me know in the comments. And also, the reviews for Season 4 episodes are coming. I'll let you know when they're up. See y'all later.